What's up, family? It's another beautiful day here at the People's Acu, where we get money out of the way so healing can take place. And that's the truth, and I'm sincere about that. So speaking of healing, you know, I run into some not easy to make choices here sometimes. I have a lot of clients who come in and they want to beat their bodies up pretty thoroughly. Maybe it's not the right time in their healing or uh, it's going to make them take a few steps backward or perhaps, perhaps the opposite is true. Maybe they don't want to do the kinds of movements that are going to be necessary for them. And it's a, a difficult situation for me because that person often becomes a chronic client who comes in and we treat the same pain over and over and over again. And too often times, nothing ever changes. And it's a, it doesn't matter if the person is paying $20 or $10 or $200. When I see people who are are determined to do more exercise than their body is ready for or who won't who won't try to do the things which are good for their bodies for example deadlifting for lower back pain it it, it, it often becomes a very difficult choice for me I had uh, a client come in today and this person they're they're incredibly relieved to have, I don't know, 80, 90% less pain in their back and their foot and their knee, but they're running, they're increasing, like they're adding all this new exercise and turning the levels up on everything. So they're just like, you know, running and running every day, uh, doing a, a squat, a body weight squat challenge, going to yoga class, um, doing an arm challenge. Um, and it, it and also adding new shoes at, at, at work, which, which is a job where they have to be standing all the time. It's a lot, it's, it's too much. I would rather see that person continue to make steady progress with their chronic pain, but do a little bit less running, a little bit less yoga, forget about the squat challenge. How about doing body weight squats like three times a week, right? Moderate things a little bit, find your window of tolerance and work within that push it a little every week. And in that case, my choice is either to tell the person I can't help you as long as you continue to beat yourself up like this, there's no way we're, we're gonna catch up to the pain. There's no, and then in the case of the client who doesn't wanna move at all, you know, the doctor told him because he has back pain, not to squat and deadlift. And that was two years ago. And the guys, no, this is four years ago. And he's, uh, he's afraid to do those things. This even though he does everything else, you know, clearly his body metabolically can handle weightlifting, strength training. The guy's built like a bodybuilder, literally, but he's terrified of squatting and deadlifting. And it's all because the doctor told him not to. And he knows that, that movement is better for his back. He knows that he needs to do it, but he's terrified of doing it. And in both cases, both of those people can become chronic, pain patients and that's it's very unsatisfying for me to work on on people to work on on projects or bodies which hurt all the time and which I know are not going to change how do I support people in those situations do I keep being their acupuncturist or do I tell them look unless you take the amount of time off or ramp things down this isn't gonna change and I'm not going to continue to provide acupuncture for you as long as you're beating yourself up. Or unless you're willing to start training for the deadlift again, I can't continue to be your acupuncturist because I don't think that this is gonna change. Or do I say, I'm here for you no matter what. It's not an easy choice. Also because I don't really know what, what the right thing is. I don't really know what's gonna be ultimately more supportive. I'm not a fortune teller, sort of.